हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मनोज कुमार वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पीसी एट एमएलआर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर टॉक ऑन सैंपलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप्स सो दिस इज माय बेसिक ओवरव्यू ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ अ सैंपलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप देयर आफ्टर आई विल बी टेकिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड फाइनली some of the application of sampling oscilloscope what is sampling oscilloscope it is a as we already aware of oscilloscope which are used to display some of the signal wave form on the screen so but what is sampling oscilloscope sampling oscilloscope one of the major feature of sampling oscilloscope that it is widely used to captures the high frequency signal normal oscilloscope can't capture high frequency signal as we know that as we, in our laboratory also we have seen that in megahertz normal cro can capture the signal in the megahertz frequency ranges but sampling oscilloscope can capture the signals in the gigahertz also which is widely used in the telecom industries so sampling oscilloscope is used to captures the high frequency signals so how what are what are the some of the key features that it will first convert the analog to digital data and it will do the sampling and uh, after sampling it will display the waveform this is the key features of sampling oscilloscope classification of sampling oscilloscope based on sampling method we have real time sampling oscilloscope that captures and display the signal cont continuously we have equivalent time oscilloscope and based on memory processing we have digital sampling oscilloscope and analog sampling oscilloscopes based on speed and precision we have high speed oscilloscopes and precision oscilloscopes so depending on the application we have to select the <coughs> digital sampling or high speed because if you are to selecting the high speed oscilloscope it is suitable for ultra fast signals if precision oscilloscope are used for the good resolution and accuracy for laboratory purpose we can use the dso so based on the application we can select one of the sampling oscilloscopes so what are the main components of oscilloscopes in main component we can see that we have one of the input circuit that will receives the analog signal sampling circuit after receiving the analog signal it will samples the signals into a discrete interval based on the time division after that the sampled signal we will convert to digital format once it is converted to digital format we can store the signal and we, or we can display the signal on the screen so these are the some of the main component of sampling oscilloscopes this is the basic block diagram we can see that we have a input signal high frequency input signal so we will do the sampling what is actually meaning of sampling this is my original input signal so sampling means taking some samples of the analog input signal based on the time interval this is called a sampling of a input signal we will not take all the portions of signal we will take some of the signal at a particular interval of time which is also governed by the nyquist rate already we have studied that sampling is done by the nyquist rate criteria once the sampling is done we will pass this sampling signal to the vertical plate of a oscilloscope and this signal the ramp generator and staircase signal to synchronize the vertical signal will provide to the horizontal plate of a cro 
सो वंस दे आर गेटिंग सिंक्रोनाइज वर्टिकल प्लेट एंड हॉरिजेंटल प्लेट वी वी विल एबल टू गेट द ओरिजिनल सिग्नल ऑन द स्क्रीन एज द वर्किंग इज ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टू द नॉर्मल सी आर ओ द ओनली डिफरेंस इन द सैम्पलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप डेट द एक्स्ट्रा ब्लॉक सैम्पलिंग इज हियर ओके विच विल सैम्पल्स द सिग्नल एट अ रेगुलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम बट इन नॉर्मल सी आर ओ विल नॉट सी दैट सैम्पलिंग ब्लॉक सो दिस इज द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नॉर्मल ऑसिलोस्कोप एंड द सैम्पलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस सो फर्स्ट इज दैट वी हैव टू सैम्पल द सिग्नल सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस फर्स्ट टू बी डन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट द सैम्पल सिग्नल टू द डिजिटल डेटा आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू डू द सिग्नल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन फॉर द डिस्प्ले यूनिट ओके सो first you do the sampling then convert the sample signal to the digital format after converting to digital format again we have to reconstruct the signal and finally you display the reconstructed signal on the display unit these are the four major steps in the sampling oscilloscope so what are the basic uh, application of a sampling oscilloscope high speed signal measurement it can be used to measure the high speed or high frequency signal measurement signal integrity testing transient event detection research and development so these are some of the application of sampling oscilloscope so while concluding one thing i want to tell that sampling oscilloscope will be used for displaying the high frequency signals whereas normal cro or normal oscilloscope can't so this is the one of the major application of sampling oscilloscope